Hi everyone, I'm Aaron. I'm a senior studying government history. I'm originally from China and I'm an international student. My favorite class so far is actually one class I took right recently. It's the Cornell history class. It's one credit, very easy. It's all about learning about Cornell history. We talk about how the early faculty, the early like student diversity, and how like, Cornell involved too recently. And I really recommend the class if you're in Cornell. I feel Cornell is. It's a very like, comprehensive and also diverse community. In here, they have a very strong international community, also a student from everywhere. We can learn from each other and we can know different perspectives in here. Uh, this is a long story for me because I was an environmental science major for my freshman year. And after my freshman year, I started taking some like, history and government class. After I took one like, international relations class at Cornell, I fell in love with the government. So I decided to transfer to the government history major in my sophomore year. And that's like, maybe the unique point of Cornell is that you can transfer your major very easily and you can take whatever class you want at Cornell. So for me, I just take some classes that I'm very interested in and finally found out, wow, this is my passion for all my future years. So I transferred to government, and right now I want to, in my future, I want to do a like combine of environmental science and some government. I'm more very passionate about environmental policy, and I hope I can go back to China to solve the environmental policy issue in Beijing. I, I really wish I know that Cornell is not that cold. Like, because before I went to Cornell, I saw Cornell was very cold, and my mom prepared me a whole set of like winter clothing. But actually, because I'm from like the north part of China, Beijing, and this compared to Beijing, it's like a similar level of cold. It's not like extremely cold. <laughs> I like the College of Art and Sciences because College of Art and Sciences is the largest college at Cornell and have a huge variety of classes you can take. Also, the College of Art and Sciences have a very good career service. I went there for my interview preparation, for my resume critique, and it's always so helpful. So if you're an Art and Science student, I'm, I feel you will be glad to be in Art and Sciences. At Cornell, I'm pretty involved in the student government. I'm the international student representative for the Cornell Student Assembly. And in there, I advocate for the uh, interests of international students. We help a lot of international students to have more resource, this career, and mental health. And also, I'm part of the uh, class council. It's the part for the uh, class of 2020. We hold a whole lot of events on campus. Last semester, we held some like a Canarian gala, like a lot of people attend and also part of the International Union and Milan China Student Association to promote international students and the cultural diversity at Cornell. This, this is a long trip. I'm from China, Beijing, and I often just took um, 13 hours flight to uh, New York City, and it took a bus from New York City to the Ithaca. It's, the bus ride is pretty convenient. I think just be prepared, like it's college life, it's very different than your high school. And in here, you are away from your parents, and you have your freedom to choose everything, to try everything. My advice is just try everything. Try new classes, talk to different people, learn from them, and then try to new event. There are so many good things you can explore at Cornell and at Ithaca. National Student Community at Cornell is very diverse. You can meet everywhere, everyone from all around the world, and Cornell do have a lot of resources for the international students. So for me, if you're an international student as well, just don't worry about it, and you will definitely enjoy your life at Cornell. Mm -hmm.